Hey loves, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel in case this is your first time here. My name is Taz Shiko and you're so very much welcome. Please hit that subscribe button if you've not and if you have, thank you so much. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll always be notified. So on today's video, I want to attempt to wash my duvet with uh, my twin tub washing machine. I used the one one ten kg. I've never attempted to wash this a type of duvet with the washing machine, but I've attempted to wash other types of duvet with the washing machine, and it was all smooth. And cause I think it's because they were a bit smaller. So today I'm attempting to wash a um, uh, more bigger uh, duvet with it, and I don't know. If how the experience will be i don't know if it will actually be able to spin or not so that's why i want to do this video and try it with you guys so let's do this this is the first duvet that we're going to clean so we have two duvet that we're going to clean today so this is the first one and i'm going to put it on the washing tub so the washing tub has water and soap ready so i'm going to completely submerge it into water and then wash it and after it's all clean after the time elapses i set it to 15 minutes so after the 15 minutes i'm then going to put it on the spin tub not fitting <laughs> like look at this so i can't be able to put this to kufunik here so unfortunately i don't know if it can actually spin like that and it's actually spinning and this is after i've taken it out from the spin tub this is how it looks it's not dripping wet it's a little bit wet but not dripping wet yes it's it's it just feels a little bit uh dumb actually it feels dumb and i noticed something I didn't know what this was until later. I discovered that since I had not uh, covered it with a lid, uh, the top part of the spin tub was actually rubbing off with the material uh, of the duvet that was on the top part. So this ended up happening. And, I and after that, I took it back to the washing tub to actually rinse it. So we have clean water ready to rinse our duvet and after that i actually um I removed it and took took it back to the spin tub to actually remove the water so the purpose of the spin tub is actually to remove the water yes that's basically the work of the spin tub so we're putting it back to spin And this is the second duvet that we are actually cleaning and I have already washed it. As you can tell, the water is quite dirty. This is because I used the same water to wash the two duvet. So it's quite dirty, <laughs> but the duvet is actually really, really clean. So I put it back to the spin tub. I put actually put it to the spin tub and as you can tell, it's quite big. It couldn't fit. So what ended up happening is just I squeezed out the water like manually the same way that I'm actually doing and then repeated the same process going back to the washing tub, rinse Thing and then putting it back to the spin tub and then squeezing out the water the same way and then i went and hung them so this is the first one i'm hanging it and as you can tell it's not dripping water just because it was uh, a bit dry so after 30 minutes i was actually able to collect my duvet it was all dried up and all clean like i can tell you that uh, the washing machine washed the duvet perfectly i set the timer for 15 minutes and i washed it for 15 minutes and also rinsed it and with a spin tub this is where i had a little challenge 
because I couldn't be able to close um, the spin tab with the lid that comes with the washing machine because the duvet was a little bit bigger and it left no room for me to close it with the lid. So I ended up spinning without the lid and what I noticed is like the the duvet was rubbing off with the with the top part of the spin tab and somehow if I wasn't careful it would have actually ended up tearing the duvet but fortunately it didn't tear the duvet so that's something that I noted I wouldn't advise you to actually spin it when you have not closed the lid because that was a bit risky but one thing I noticed is with the first duvet it was actually able to actually spin even without closing the it with the lid and with the second way actually it couldn't be able to even spin on the spinner like it couldn't spin at all at all and so what i ended up doing is i just squeezed out the water manually by just pressing it um inside the spin tub and i was able to remove a lot a lot of water and i was now able to actually rinse it and go hang it i wouldn't advise anyone to actually spin on the spin tub when you've not closed the lid because you might end up tearing your clothes your duvet or anything else that you're actually washing there even the second one didn't stay that long since it was actually sunny outside and it didn't take that long to actually dry up so yeah thank you so much for watching this video till this far and i really don't take it for granted uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't and until the next one bye guys